Okay, so we're going to do Virgo. This could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to. This could be someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you. Different people that they're attached to. Different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Temperance is here. And then Ten of Pentacles is here. So you're in this energy where you're very peaceful. You're protected. You have a Ten of Pentacles. These are your ancestors. They're um, protecting you, guiding you, pouring out infinite love and protection for you. And um, you're someone that's very peaceful. You're an angelic being. It's like you're someone that have balanced out masculine and feminine energy. You're someone that's very grounded and very balanced out. Ten of cups in a reverse. Somebody is not happy. Ten of cups in a reverse. They're not happy because you're someone that's grounded. You're someone that's peaceful. And then you have ancestors um, guiding you through, you know, steps, whatever steps you take throughout life, they're guided. You listen to your intuition. These are people that are low vibrational, five of pentacles, um, very physically, mentally and spiritually out in the cold. And they don't know the knowledge about spirituality or anything like that. They're um, they're not happy because of who you are. These are people that could have, yeah, you could have spoke the truth about these people, Queen of Swords. Could have spoke the truth. Um, you're just in this energy where you're someone that's very intelligent. And these are people that are low vibrational. They could have, you know, spread it rumors or lies on you that was not true. And as a lot of people were sitting back, possibly, you know, watching you or trying to see whatever to add up or see whatever these people said about you. If it was true or not, they're looking at these people at the five of pentacles. They're looking at you as someone that's very angelic. You're someone that's very grounded. You're someone that is sitting in your ten of pentacles because you listen to your intuition. You have ancestors. These people could have did this because you were in this nine of pentacles energy, very single, self-sufficient, self-made, being able to stand on your own two feet, very abundant, being mindful of what you give your time, your money, your energy to. And you're someone that, you know, you don't be around people that much. You're someone that can read energy. You're very intuitive. And you worked hard to get where you are. You, you could be someone that's young. Um, you're also someone that is um, saving yourself for a commitment. You're, you could be someone that's celibate or a virgin. Take it where it resonates. And these are people that are not happy. They wanted you to feel left out in the cold. They wanted you to be left out in the cold. But it's like you're someone that's very intelligent. Queen of Swords is here. They're not happy about that because these are people that are very low vibrational. It's like they're at the five of pentacles. They don't have any ancestors guiding them or protecting them. You're at the ten of pentacles and they're not happy about that. Yeah. The unknown car in the reverse. And it's like whoever these people are, they did not want people to know, you know, why they were doing or saying whatever they were saying to you. But it's not, you know, it's not something that is, you know, these people that they lied to aren't blinded. It's like whatever they did and this low vibrational energy, people see the truth. It's nothing that's unknown. Yeah, the star card is here and then Queen of Wands is here. You went through a spiritual awakening. It's, someone, it's like you're someone that's a leader, a spiritual teacher. You balance out whatever it is that took place throughout your life. And um, you're leading your own life. You're leading your own energy. You're someone that's very in tune as well. You've healed. And whatever you have went through, it made you like chase after whatever it is you want out of life. It motivated you. It gave you the confidence to go after whatever it is you want out of life. And they, they're not happy about that. Because they wanted you to feel left out in the cold or something like that. They wanted people to look at you as if you were low. Now people see you in this temperance energy. Ten of Pentacles is here. And they see these people... In this five of pentacles energy. These are the same people that you haven't spoke the truth about. Queen of swords is here.
Yeah, the moon card is here. You expose some different secrets. You could you could be someone that's a psychic, you know, you know hidden knowledge, things that's done in the dark. And these you expose somebody's secrets, stuff that they didn't want to get out. These are people that could have just been behind the scenes lying on you, you know, trying to have you feel like you were someone that was at the five of pentacles or something like that. They wanted people to see you in a certain way that you weren't. And they thought they were going to keep it hidden. As they were playing in your energy, whatever they were doing in the dark, it got exposed. These are people that are toxic. Five of, uh, I mean, uh, the devil. I was getting ready to say the five of wands. So these could have been people that were secretly like trying to one up you, send conflict to you because they're toxic. They wanted to keep this energy hidden, this devil energy that they walk in. They wanted to keep it hidden. They didn't want people to know they were low vibrational, no matter what they have in this physical realm. They wanted to like have people blinded. These could be people that have a lot, you know, material gain. But in the spiritual realm, they're at the five of pentacles. They don't have ancestors. They're low vibrational. They're out in the cold. Yeah, the hermit card is here. And then six of wands is here. Yeah, you've been in isolation. You've been in solitude, cleansing yourself, healing yourself, going within to investigate. You know, expanding your consciousness and your awareness after getting spiritually awoke. You're at the six of wands having victory and success. These are people that thought they had unsecretly isolated you. Did not know that you would come out on top at the Six of Wands, having victory and success. And they're not happy. How dare you come out having victory and success after they lied on you. Did a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes over and over again, Nine of Wands, to try to have you stuck in this hangman energy. Whatever they were lying about, they wanted it to be seen as if it was true. And these are people that possibly don't even know you. And it's like each time they got behind the scenes and did something over and over again, they ended up getting exposed. Because you have ancestors. These are people that are out in the cold. Yeah, they wanted you to be stuck. They wanted you to feel rejected. Four of Cups is here. They were secretly at the Five of Wands competing with you, trying to send conflict to you. Wanted you to be heartbroken. Wanted you to be seen as you were someone that was depressed or something like that. And these are people that are in this energy. Whatever they were sending out to you, it's like they're in that energy as they were secretly competing with you, copying you, and spreading lies on you. You're at the Six of Wands having victory and success. These are people that are being seen as people that are um, at the Five of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Low vibrational. Devil energy. And they were trying to keep this hidden. The moon card is here. They're heartbroken because they got exposed. They're heartbroken because whatever they did to send conflict to you, you only move forward. The chariot. If you had an expanded your consciousness and your awareness, you move forward. You already had them gained truth and clarity. You knew what was hidden. You knew these people were toxic. It's like you isolated yourself from a lot. You still came out on top. Six of Wands is here. No matter if these people try to have you stuck, wrap you up in stuff that was not true, talk about you and spread lies on you, different stuff that was not true, they're sitting in all of that. And it's like you're in this empress energy. Embodying all queens in the deck, someone that's very abundant. As you went from the Nine of Pentacles to the Empress energy. As they were behind the scenes trying to create conflict for you. Chaos for you. Now they're stuck at the Five of Cups in regret, ashamed, embarrassed. Crying over spilled milk. People don't even want to be around these people anymore. Whatever they were doing over and over again, it just built you up. For you to move forward. Yeah, Six of Swords is here. They're at the Five of Cups in regret because somebody had to distance themselves from these people. Six of Swords is here. Yeah, after they betrayed this part. Somebody distanced. So this could be somebody that, um, yeah, this could be somebody that you know. And these were people that they were attached to that betrayed this person over and over again because they did not want this person to um, look at you as ultimate happiness. This could have been their family. This could have been people that they were attached to. But these were people that were karmic. They were toxic. And it's like this person is sailing away at the Six of Swords after being betrayed multiple times. Yeah, this King of Cups. This could have been someone who had emotions for you. Seven of Cups is here. They wanted to confuse this person. 
And they did a lot of stuff behind the scenes to try to make you look bad, but it didn't work. These are people that got exposed for being karmics. People that were very toxic. And people that were supposed to be left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is here. Yeah, Eight of Swords is here. They did something to confuse this person. It's like they could have been... What is this Eight of Swords? Yeah, and then King of Wands is here. They wanted this person to be stuck? Like somebody did something to have this person stuck. Eight of Swords. They could have been playing with binding magic or something like that because they knew this person was attracted to you. King of Wands. And they were trying to confuse this person. They knew this person was attracted to you. They knew this person had emotions for you. Yeah, King and Queen of Wands. They wanted this person to be stuck and confused. Stuck in their head. They could have placed some type of binding magic over this person. The devil and the moon card. That's spell work. And they wanted this person to be isolated away from you as you were already in isolation and in solitude. Yeah. As you're at, and you're at the Six of Wands having victory and success. This person could literally be feeling isolated and alone. Four of Swords is here. And they wanted this person to be isolated away from you so they can place some type of Knight of Wands energy on this person to get them to be attracted to them. Yeah, this is somebody that they needed to complete a cycle out with. The world is here. This was a karmic that they were attached to. Yeah, they needed to walk away from a confused mindset, Eight of Cups, because they were trying to confuse this King of Cups. And it's like, yeah, they got exposed. The Sun card is here. They didn't know that they would get exposed. Whoever this person is, they were attached to somebody. And this could be masking or feminine energy. It could be both. They were trying to keep this person isolated and confused and feeling stuck because they were hoping to place a Knight of Wands spell on that person or, you know, like a lustful energy onto you. These are people that were very toxic, binding and blinded to bad habits, obsessions, addictions. And this person needed to complete a cycle out with these people. That's why you were in isolation and in solitude. Something that's told you to get away from a lot of people. Heal yourself. Cleanse yourself. Nine of Pentacles, you could have separated yourself from someone and you completed a cycle. You could have been in a never-ending cycle with someone and you were just, you know, cleansing yourself, minding your business, paying attention to yourself. And you're someone that became very successful, successful business owner. Yeah, you were expanding your consciousness and your awareness and whoever this person is that you know was interested in you, they were being betrayed by multiple people that they were attached to. Yeah, that they needed to complete a cycle out with. Yeah, Nine of Swords is here. And then King of Pentacles is here. Then the Strength Guard is here. So, yeah, whoever this person is, that's the, all, the only thing they think about is you. It's like you give this person strength. You make this person want to grow. Even after all of this took place, it's like it needed to take place so this person could get woke. They possibly weren't even woke. They didn't know that they were attached to a lot of people that were karmic. They were looking at stuff on the physical and not on the spiritual because they weren't spiritually awake. Yeah. Yeah, this person is the only thing they're thinking about is you. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. This person wants to do something with you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is here. It's like all they're thinking about is you. You made this person want to gain their strength back. After being pent down at the Ten of Swords and betrayed multiple times. Eight of Pentacles is here and Page of Pentacles. This person wants to work with you doing something or work on something with you. Yeah, high priestess almost popped out in the reverse. So that's not something that's hidden. Yeah. Seven of Wands is here. So whoever lied to this person, because this high priestess in the reverse could be a liar. Whoever lied to this person, they it ended up backfiring. And they sabotage yourself trying to sabotage this connection. Yeah. 
this person got exposed for being a liar. They could have worked with this person or they knew this person wanted to work with you. It's like they found out some type of new information about a person that they were working with or they were attached to. This person lied to them out of envy and hatred. And they were trying to keep this person blocked off from you, Seven of Wands. Something backfired. Yeah, and that person is weighed down, Ten of Wands. They're burdened and pressured. They got exposed. Whatever backfired, them trying to place a lot of stuff in that person's face that they cannot see, a lot of stuff on their back that they cannot weigh, it backfired. They're at the Ten of Wands. They had to weigh their self down with a lot of baggage, a lot of burdens, and they did not know. Yeah, well, the fortune is here. They're weighed down because this person has a destiny and a purpose, or they're weighed down because the will of fortune is still in the upright. They could have knew about this destiny and this purpose, and this is why they betrayed this person. They didn't want this person to have good luck. They didn't want this person to walk into their destiny or their purpose. Yeah. They want this person to be at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. And they were just draining this person. Four of Pentacles is here. They were trying to hold on to this person. Four of Wands is here. Because they knew that you and this person had a destined partnership, a destined union. You could be this person's twin. They knew about this and they were trying to hold on to this person to control this person. They were trying to control whatever direction this person take. Drain this person. Draining their energy. This is someone they needed to hold back from. Different people they needed to hold back from. Because it was more than one person. Yeah, tower is here. It's like this person didn't do nothing but cause a tower for their self. They're sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices. But this was destined to take place. Is what this person did not know. They're at the five of pentacles. Walking in devil energy under heavy mind control. And they don't know they can't control the energy that they walk in. Because they choose to keep vibing low. Yeah. Six of Cups, past life galaxy generations ago. These are people that tried to cause tower moments for you and this person in the past. Yeah. Seven of Swords is here. They were being very sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. They thought they were smarter than you, smarter than this person, and they wouldn't get caught. They ended up getting caught at the Eight of Swords. Yeah. It's like they're stuck. Whatever they did, whatever they were playing with, they ended up getting caught up. They just thought that they would get away with it. These are people that are used to being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. And they do this type of stuff over and over again as they're in a never-ending cycle. Doing the same thing over and over again, getting the same results, not getting anything out of it. Yeah, but being slowed down, Knight of Pentacles is here. It's like they're slowing their self down, distracting their self, and they don't know to keep their self out in the cold. Ace of Cups is here. They were trying to distract this person and slow this person down from true love. They knew this person was your true love. Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Magician is here. And then Two of Swords is here. They were trying to blind this person from the truth of um, you being someone that's positive. You're, you're someone that's a psychic. You get um, messages from above. You're connected. You're someone that's a manifester. You can create whatever it is that you want out of life. These are people that blinded this person from the truth and lied to this person. They could have gotten mad because you were spiritually awake. You were speaking the truth about them. So they tried to lie to this person and make it seem like you were someone that was tricky or something like that. Because this person was not woke. Yeah, three of wands is here. Page of swords, seven, six of pentacles. And then the emperor is here. Yeah, and it's like this person have been watching you. They see you as their equal. Yeah, this it made this person, you know, make a decision to stand up in this emperor energy. As you're in this empress energy. And these are people that are in regret because this person had to walk away from a confused mindset. Eight of Cups is here. Wow. As they were watching you, you made this person want to grow. And these are people that were just solely focused on being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Trying to create blockages for this part. They exposed themselves for being karmics and they didn't know. And they're not happy. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles is here. 
And then the hair fun. They were trying to slow this person down from if this person wanted to get in a commitment with you, this King of Pentacles strength card, this person that, you know, you help this person gain their strength back. This person look at you as someone that's very loyal, very inspirational. It's like you inspired this person. They look at you as their equal. They knew this person wanted to be in a commitment with you and they were trying to slow this person down. Yeah, they knew this person would be going in a whole another direction. The fool card is here. Getting on another path. This person will be getting on the right path and they, they didn't want that. They weren't happy about that. They wanted to control this person. Control this person's path. Had this person at a stalemate not knowing which direction to take. These are people that were envious and jealous and they exposed themselves for being karmics. People that they needed to complete a cycle out with. Yeah. Yeah, financial lacks. These are people that could be experiencing some type of financial lacks. They're stressing. Somebody had not gained the truth. Somebody knows the truth. This person had not found out the truth. You're someone that's a role model. These are people that got some type of warning. But they still did whatever they did behind the scenes. They didn't care. It's like when you tell a lie and you, you're walking in devil energy, you're envious and jealous. Even though if they got warned, they weren't listening to their intuition. They don't have an intuition. They didn't care. Yeah, these are people that do not want to work. Yeah. These are people that are very immature. Equal give and take. You're someone that's very equal. These are people that resented that. You're someone that's very kind, very giving. They were, they're only trying to block your blessings. This person found out that they were only trying to block their blessings. They had jealous friends attached to them. They were trying to use children. The strength card is here. You're someone that's very strong. It's like it made you grow. Private investigator. So it could be a private investigator involved. Tarot card reading. Chaos and conflict. These are people that were getting readings to cause chaos and conflict in your life. Trying to stop you and block you from your destiny and your purpose. They didn't know they were being investigated. Private investigator is here. Yeah. It's like they found out these people that were trying, they tried, whatever this private investigator found out, they found out they try to block your love life. They cause deception in your life. You have learned lessons. Whoever this person is, they were learning lessons. And they found out you're someone that's an influencer. These are people that were sitting back unhappy about who you are as a person. And they ended up getting exposed. Yeah. They're, these are people that were very immature. They are very immature. And they didn't want people to know this. So you have honesty is here. This person is realizing, whoever this investigator is, they're realizing that they, can, they can't. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So... They were sitting back doing their own investigation and they found out that they could not trust these people. They were lied to. But they can expect the truth from their self if they haven't seen for their self who you are as a person. Worry is here. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. These people got worried. They got jealous. They let jealousy, envy, and hatred take over them and they're realizing it did not change the outcome. Love is here. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. They made this person want to love their self more. This person needed to stand up and love their self because they were around a whole bunch of people that were envious and jealous of them, envious and jealous of the connection. Yeah, acceptance is here. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. This person was learning lessons. 
And they're accepting that they were learning lessons. They're accepting that they cannot change what these people did. They can only change their self. Yeah, regret. I know that I cannot change the past. These are people that are, this almost popped out in the reverse. These are people that are not in regret for what they did. They're in regret because they ended up getting caught after being lied, after lying to a lot of people about you, and they're not happy. These are people that are used to being at the Seven of Swords. They operate in devil energy. Yeah, they're not in regret for what they did. They're in regret because they got caught. They got exposed. Yeah, these are people that are very prideful. They just knew whatever they had to lie about was going to work. They would least expect how God come through. Yeah, growth is here. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. It's like you were focusing on growth. You were focusing on expanding your consciousness and your awareness. As these people were behind the scenes, vibing low. Wanted, trying to project their energy off onto you and it did not work. Yeah, it made you grow. Growth is here. You push forward. You moved forward. They exposed their self in front of this person who needed to learn lessons. Because they didn't know. Yeah, judgment is here. These are people that are sitting back going through judgment as they're watching you grow. Yeah, service is here. I feel good when I can help others. It's like you're someone that feels good when you can help others. These are people that wanted to downplay who you are as a person. And these are people that did not even know you. They were just envious and jealous of the energy that you walk in. Someone that's very self-sufficient, abundant, and can stand on their own two feet. Somebody that minds their business. And someone that's very successful. You focus on yourself. That's how you're in this uh, Nine of Pentacles energy and went to the Empress energy. Because you choose to focus on yourself and whatever it is that you want out of life. Yeah. You choose to focus on growth. That's why you're in this pay. Yeah, patience is here. You're someone that's very temperate, very grounded. You're someone that pray a lot, very peaceful. I accept that everything happens in divine order. It's like you're on a divine path and you accept that everything happens in divine order. You knew these people would get exposed. You knew that these people would receive karma for whatever they did as you have not done nothing to these people. Yeah, guilt is here. I release any belief systems that no beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Yeah, death is here. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So this person realized that they needed to release um, whatever beliefs that they that no longer assist in their soul's growth because they were only thinking about the physical. They wasn't thinking about the spiritual. And they put an end to that in order to start something new. The death card is here. Yeah, Knight of Swords popped out in the reverse and it wasn't even supposed to be in this deck. These are people that can no longer run in quick and do something out of hatred, envy, jealousy. Surrender is here. These are people that have to surrender after they got behind the scenes and thought they were going to control this connection. I can release my need to control. Yeah, and they're in fear. They're in fear because they can no longer lie to people. Go in quick and do something out of hatred and anger. They're in fear they got exposed. 